हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ सादिक अली जोलॉजी फैकल्टी एम एस एजुकेशन अकेडमी हैदराबाद स्टूडेंट्स दोज हु आर गोइंग टू राइट इंटरमीडिएट फर्स्ट ईयर एग्जाम इन जोलॉजी आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट यू इम्पॉर्टेंट एट मार्क्स क्वेश्चन वन बाई वन सो आउट ऑफ दैट इम्पॉर्टेंट एट मार्क्स एट मार्क्स क्वेश्चन लेक एज एन इको सिस्टम इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन expected eight marks questions so let me present you the quick revision so that you can understand and you can memorize and if it comes in exam you can present the answer correctly and score maximum marks right so important question lake as an ecosystem it is eight marks question students producers consumers and decomposers so these are the living organisms seen in littoral zone producers as you know which prepare the food materials by photosynthesis these producers includes phytoplanktons and hydrophytes phytoplanktons and hydrophytes hydrophytes are aquatic plants right phytoplanktons includes diatoms euglenoids dinoflagellates simple aapko itna simplify kar diya main answer aap ye mind map ko dekh ke aap aaram se apne thode sentences apne own se sentences frame kar sakte aur ye flow chart agar aap dalte gaye you will impress the examiner excellently and you will get 100% marks so phytoplankton includes the atoms euglenoids dinoflagellates so these can prepare their own food materials second category hydrophytes hydrophytes are aquatic plants and these aquatic plants they may be emergent plants they may be submergent plants and they may be free floating plants so this type of terminology you have to write students right here so emergent plants which are having roots example typha bulrushes sagittaria i repeat one more time typha bulrushes sagittaria when it comes to rooted plants with floating leaves you might have seen in the stagnated water water logged areas big leaves nymphia nilambo they are the examples rooted plants with free floating leaves example nilambo and plants which are totally submerged in water they will not be seen outside they are present inside the water example hydrilla when it comes to free floating plants pistia so you have studied even in botany i lemna icornia etc now coming to consumers students consumers present in littoral zone they are classified into five types zooplankton neuston nekton periphyton benthos students i was saying about two marks questions so these can be even asked for two marks vsaq students i repeat one more time consumers in littoral zone are zooplankton neuston nekton periphyton benthos first what are zooplankton zooplanktons are microscopic organisms which have weak locomotory structures and their locomotion depends upon mercy of water currents example daphnia rotifers ostracods 
at least two examples you have to write students zooplanktons daphnia rotifers now coming to these new stone students new stones are animals which lives in air water interface so you know this is surface tension area right these two areas are there above the water surface below the water surface so animals which live in this air water interface area are called new stone animals which lives above the water surface are called epi new stone and animals which lives below the water surface are called hyponeustone epineustone hyponeustone hyponeustone animals which lives in the air water interface examples for epineustone water bugs beetles water bugs beetles examples for hyponeustone larva of mosquitoes example for hyponeustone larva of mosquitoes and next coming to nekton what are nekton animals which swim against water currents animals which swim against water currents this makes sense that these animals have well developed locomotory structures for example like fish animals which swims against water currents example fishes amphibians and water snakes and next category what are periphyton periphytons are the organisms which cling or attach to aquatic weeds for example like tadpole larva or small snails so these stick to the aquatic plants leaves so these organisms are called periphyton example water snails nymphs of insects insects bryozoans periphyton water snails nymphs of insects bryozoans now coming to benthos animals which lives in the bottom are called benthos example red annelids chironomid larva some isopods amphipods red annelids chironomid larvae some isopods and amphipods so that's about consumers students biota of limnitic zone autotrophs are euglenoids diatoms cyanobacteria and biota which are consumers present in limnitic zone zooplankton fishes frogs etc now coming to profoundal zone which is a innermost zone dark zone where oxygen is very less because lack of penetration of or availability of light in that area no photosynthesis obviously the amount of oxygen will be low in biota uh, i mean to say sorry profoundal zone and students the animals which can survive at very low oxygen levels only can be seen in profoundal zone mostly decomposers are present bacteria are present some chironomid larva are present phantom larva are present mainly decomposers decompose dead plants and animals and release the nutrients which are used by biotic communities so that's about lake as an ecosystem students important eight marks question if this question is asked in exam so you can watch this video draw these simple diagrams and write these uh, mind maps uh, uh, present in your exam paper so that you can impress your examiner and score maximum marks all the best students ms education academy preparing world worthy individuals